Hello and welcome to VStack. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. All right, what we're trying to accomplish is this. We have a table in Excel. It's the January transactions. We also have a different table that stores February and a different table that stores March. And what we're trying to do is write a single formula that combines all the transactions from these different tables. And the good news is there's a function in Excel designed specifically to help us do that. So let's head to Excel and check it out. Now the VStack function is designed to combine transactions from different tables. Now the underlying assumption is that the tables have the same columns and the same column order. And when they do, we can easily use VStack to combine them. This is our table that stores the January transactions. This table has a name. To check out the name, we go to table design, and we can see right here the table name is January, the table name here is February, and the table name here is March. So let's combine the transactions from these three different tables. Equals VStack. So we use the arguments to define each individual table. Now in this case, they happen to be Excel tables, so we can just use the table names. But this function can support ordinary ranges as well as tables. In our case, we have a table named January, we have another table named Feb, and we have another table named March. So we simply enter those table names as the function arguments, and then we hit enter. <laughs> and just like that, we got it. Okay, those are all of the transactions. Now, if we also wanted to include one of the header rows, we could certainly do that. So let's delete that. Let's try again. Equals V stack. We want to include the January tables, headers, comma. And then we want to stack in the transactions from the January table, the February table, and the March table. Close the function and enter, and just like that, we got it. And if we wanted to apply some formatting, we could simply select the column, open up the format cells dialog, pick whatever type of format we want, and hit enter. And now we got it. And the good news is this is dynamic. So if we happen to head over to January and there's another transaction like 2852 for 5041, for trade shows, for January, for $1,000, without clicking refresh or doing anything, that new transaction is gonna be in the combined table. Let's go check it out. The transaction is 2852. We head over here and 2852, there it is. So this is a dynamic solution that works really well. Now, as a heads up, this is not available in every version of Excel, so this depends on the version of Excel you're using. If you're using Excel online or a fairly modern version of Excel, you'll have it. Just note that if you have a legacy version of Excel that doesn't have VStack, you may wanna consider using Power Query instead. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 